it's not quite dry yet but as you can see there it's all gone nice and uh it's all gone nice and black see that there like this here that is uh an exposed live i found that out with uh i was tightening these mounts up massive spark off it i thought what is that why is that just left like that so I've, what do i've got some inner tube old inner tube and i'm going to just zippy tie it and cover that up with some uh, bit of rubber just to protect me from myself you know that's the next job there you go look it's a lot safer in it it's wrapped up with the uh inner tube stops me catching it on anything you know coat of uh, this is uh, oil based it's marine primer this is put a coat of that on and then uh, that dry overnight see how we get on you can see there looks paint everywhere <laughs> I've uh, touched up all the rusty bits let that dry and to just re-sand and scrape a few places so I've got to re-hoover that out and touch it all up again I've, uh, I've given the floor a second coat it's a little bit dropped down there and the floor second coat and the uh, floor to the floors are the worst area I've touched up all that uh, bit of rust around there and stuff like that I've painted I've painted in there as well look around there <sighs> Leave it now, let it dry. I'm just using an abrasive pad here, look, just to go over the. Uh, it's just to get rid of all the uh, lumps in it and bumps and and flatten it off and key it ready for a top coat. I did this with the um, green paintwork as well, so I didn't show that bit, but I'm just going over it again. And on this side as well, just going over that bit there, getting it ready for the top coat, sweep it all out and over it and whatever you. In between coats of paint I was uh, just degreasing the engine and uh, giving it a bit of a clean up, get rid of all the fingerprints off it. Now I'm just going to use an as abrasive pad, but this is a softer one, just to roughen up the uh, paintwork and uh, get it ready for a spray job you know I've got some of this industrial um, engine spray it's, it's uh, Brunswick green and it's a BS 227 color it comes with this snazzy little I thought what the hell is that for I took that off sprayed it then I realized underneath you got an activator. I must put the I must put the two pack activator in there. So you got to probably put that on there. Put that on there. Press it in and activate it. Wow, that is professional, isn't it? I better read the instructions before I start. I start any of that stuff. Wow, that is. Uh, I've never seen that before in my life. That's amazing. Two pack, two pack in one can. That's why it's so expensive. Oh, I'll leave that then. But it definitely look at the instructions. Like, am I supposed to read that? Even with the most powerfulest glasses in the world, can I even read that? I have to take a photo, and then once this paint is activated, you've got to put that red cap on, that red cap onto the uh, there, and bang it. 
you press it and it mixes the two components inside and you shake it for two minutes and it's got 24 hours then to use it and uh, solvent and wipe it all the dust off before, before spraying it I'm also going to spray the alternators as well which is what they did in the factory I thought I'd use this as a it's a cracking degreaser it's carb cleaner solvent it's taking most of the paint off it's taking the uh, engine number off oh what a plonker what an idiot it's degreased the engine really well but it's just taking everything off with it oh no stop using that i didn't realize till it uh, started bubbling up oh great yeah, come with me let me show you i just found out after all this work Diesel will leak from one of these pipes. You bastard. One thing after another. And I've just masked off all the engine as well. Look. <clears throat> I'm going to try. I think it's that one there. I think it's that one there. Look. Oh, God. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and clean it off. Put some card under it. Just to, just to try and find out which one is leaking. So I reckon that must have been the problem then. One of the YouTubers said that uh, I suppose the diesel's been leaking onto that onto that mount. Now I've disturbed it a little bit. I've had to cut the shroud back a bit. These clips, these clips, we use those clips. A lot of Italian bikes use those clips. They're called speed clips, and they're freaking rubbish because they expand and they don't go back. They don't contract again. So. It's a stretch a little bit and it doesn't seal anymore. So I'm going to try and replace that with a Jubilee clip, hopefully. And then uh, try it again. I need to spray it because the sun's out. And the engine's ready. Ah. bought this Hoover about about a month ago and it's, uh, it's cordless, it's charging. Uh, it works, it comes with this, as you can see behind here, look comes with this snazzy little clips into there it's a nice little cordless hoof it's fantastic stop working when I need it the most unplug it oh. damn plug it back into here and it's supposed to go and it uh... this is a uh, brand new hoover now there you go. That's what it should do. The one wasn't doing that, was it? So brilliant. To Alford to get a Jubilee clip for that clip. I've got a selection. Because when you need these, you need that and that. Ten mile round trip to get these. Uh, and you can't see any leaks now. From that, I've uh, left that since I've gone. It's typical, isn't it? It's absolutely typical. Can't see any leaks. Oh, what do I do now then? Do I leave it and just just hope for the best? The engine's covered in dust again now, so I've got to brush this engine off, uh, get it warmed up, and then we'll give it a spray. Next stage is getting the belts off, and then we're almost ready. I've taken the belts off. Give me a good chance to uh, look at them. Now, warm belt. Can you see that? it focus on it or not I don't think it will see a warm belt see how it curves up it lips up each side lot that's starting to wear out now it's not a very old belt see it's starting to go there so this belt needs replacing see how it's it looks like it's melted now I think it's part of the uh... that's definitely starting to go this one which was uh... these should last donkey's years these things that looks starting to fray on the edges there look just getting a brush to get rid of uh, any bits of dust that's uh, there's been a lot of dust on here I get a lot of dust on narrow boats uh, and even though it's one last bit of dusting to uh, mask those off you can see uh, the green 
a little sprayed this was replaced you see B to put this on for me but as you can see it was sprayed before so they do spray everything well this is squeaky bum time now because I'm really nervous about spraying this because uh, it's a two pack uh, I don't know whether it's going it's to react I'm not sure it might react and look horrible this is my biggest fear you see so uh, well, here we go let's just do it I put some cellophane in all the pipes it's got to do that bit there look uh, we'll get spraying soon I keep saying it because I'm putting it off but I will get sprayed in a minute I'm not having any luck here you know I've noticed that this uh, this is loose I can see that I can't hold it still look come loose again so I'm just to take this off now that bolt has snapped that bolt there we should be all right I did it the other day so I'll take this bracket off and uh, the nut that holds this bracket the nut that holds this bracket on underneath is loose again oh god got the bracket back enough to get this this is part of the head bolt can you believe that so I've got to try and get that out somehow uh, if not, I'll have to order another one of these and another bolt. No, yeah, bolt to go on there. How unbelievable is that? This is what the problem is. That bolt must have been snapped. Oh, man, it's just turned from. I just want to spray it. Oh, God. I think. Luckily, I've tapped, tapped, tapped. It's taken me a while. Oh, God, thank God for that. Look at that. I had to tap it round, tap, 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 it's really slowly. It's taking me about half an hour, but look at that. Oh, I got it out. God for that. The reason I couldn't tight the bolt up tight enough on this is because, um, I can't quite see it. It's because it's only a certain depth to it. So you can only go down so far and then you reach the bottom so I've got to find a bolt for this now plenty of spring washers on there and lock tight thread lock in there back together logs you remember I found this on the floor in the uh, in the engine bag I looked all over the place I couldn't find it well it's from here that one was loose and that one comes out of there as well so that that falling out that was completely loose there's a pit, another one at the back here that is uh, that is worn out. This is why the belt kept coming loose all the time. See that? Can't see it, can you? Try and... That's worn out and snapped. Oh my god! Somewhere at the back there, in here somewhere, there's a snap bolt. Oh god, this is turning to this is really stressing me out now. This is. I can probably get away with those that two and the two at the top here for now, but there's another one that goes through there. So it's worn out. Look, there's another one that goes through there. I've got to try and get it to the back of the engine somewhere. So I'm going to have to clean all this up and try and find out where it is. So this bit here goes into there like that and that bracket bolts onto that but look at that look at the play in there that's completely utterly bloody useless I can't get the inside of it and it's probably that far in so what I'm thinking of doing is just tapping this tapping that putting a thread in it and putting a bolt in there and then Drilling the hole out on the bracket. This hole is knackered anyway. As you can see here, look. That hole is big anyway, look. So drill it. Tap that out to like an 8mm or something. Put a bolt in it and then there's no way I'm stripping this engine down to do that. Oh, Here's that bottom bolt snapped. 
put this bolt here. That second mount there goes into there and snapped inside. To get those jobs done properly, you have to take all this manifold off, engine out, all the front chain cover off. It's going to be engine out job, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to tap this, I'm going to tap that the best I can. I'm going to see if I can do it from here. Turn to a knife. This would have this would have gone this would have gone really bad at some point. So that's spinning, you know, thousands of RPM. So if that goes and your belt goes and it oh it could all collapse, it would have been a mess, wouldn't it? I've got to sort it out now. I can put, hopefully tap this. Just get enough thread on it to there and get a bolt on there. And same with that one. I can tap that one as far as I want that one there, so that'll be a stronger one. You've got a bolt there that's holding that, two bolts at the top holding that. Um, so quite a poor design. I think this is quite a common fault. <sighs> okay, 